Welcome back to the next segment. I'm here with Ed Zachary and James Collins. Gentlemen, thanks for joining me. Uh, we're focusing on veteran-owned businesses uh, here with uh, the Buzz on Business, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. James, we'll start with you. Sure. Uh, let me throw in a disclaimer. I've known you for five years, and I know you're a Marine, and uh, you know, you're an officer and all that, but I still kind of like you. you know? But uh, tell the viewers a little bit about your uh, military background and how you ended up in Medina County. Okay. Well, you can't count, and that's an Army thing, but we, we've known each other six years now. So. I've only liked you for about uh, one uh, That's fair. <laughs> the answer to the question. Okay. Uh, so I, I came to Brunswick uh, in 2013 when I got stationed up in Middleburg Heights. It was my last active duty assignment. I was on the uh, recruiting operations team up there. Uh, and then I ended up really coming to like the area. And so when I finished up my contract and I got out, I decided to stay here and ended up building... Uh, my own business uh, here on 303 at Edward Jones Branch and I uh, have since started raising two young little girls and this is where my family and I have a strong desire to you know, uh, raise the next generation of folks coming from us at least. Excellent, thanks. <laughs> Ed, what about you? I retired from the Army in 2007 and uh, my wife is from Medina County. I grew up in the Cleveland area so uh, I got a uh, hard to stay in Medina County as long as I'm married to her. So. As long as she's happy, there you go. and then you're happier than you would, would be otherwise. Yeah. And what do you do for veterans? So uh, I'm the director of the Medina County Veterans Service Office. Uh, we are the county office that uh, kind of interwines people with the uh, state and federal government as far as veterans benefits. Uh, we do run a veteran-owned business program. Um, it's a small program trying to get it off the ground. We can talk a little bit about that in a minute. And um, also there is a state and federal program, a veteran-friendly business zone program too. So, The other guests I've been talking to, we talked a little bit about their uh, military history and how that has helped them transition to civilian life and help them in leadership positions within their business. James, what are some of the things that you learned uh, from the Marine Corps that have spilled over nicely into uh, running your business with Edward Jones. Sure. Uh, well, I think it's some common ground that every uh, military, anybody in, in in the military that achieves a, a more senior level of rank uh, that comes out to the civilian workforce has w would work well with a business owner period, just because we're used to getting a, a mission, we're used to having a lot of tools and a lot of education uh, and support around us, but there's no specific path to achieve that 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 mission. Uh, so, so you can be creative and, and use the tools that you have at your disposal to, to come up with your own way. Well, uh, and, and business, and, and in my business, uh, you know, I've had a mission uh, the whole time, but I could be creative and, and uh, use, use the tools at, at my disposal and have a, a large left and right lateral limit uh, in, in how I could accomplish that mission. And so that's blended very nicely. And then because I came from recruiting duty, uh, I was actually the operations officer, which meant I was the sales manager. So I was just used to reviewing data and, and finding trends and, and employing a, a you know a bunch of salesmen, recruiters, sixty recruiters throughout the uh, state. Uh, that I had a I had a, a, a good sales mindset there to get started, and that helped. So is it true if uh, you know the, there's four or five recruiters together, you guys? The Marine Corps get the leftovers, or how, how exactly does that work? Right? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm just it's usually going a test score. Room. I'm it's just usually, going it, it usually goes by a test score kind of. Okay, thing. so uh, the top go into the army. Uh, there's they get uh, there's some, they kind of get thrown like a dart. They end up, yeah, okay. they, uh, Ed, uh, speaking to you, uh, what have you known? Or what have you noticed that's a little bit different about veteran-owned businesses and how they interact with? Uh, uh, the communities. You know, veterans, uh, obviously the leadership skills that veterans have, but when they own a business, they, they tend to go in it, you know, head first and in, in just all about their business and taking care of people, whether it's the people that work for them or whether it's the people, the clients that come in. Um, so I'm not saying they're any better or worse than a civilian owned business, but obviously the leadership there that you learn in the military about taking care of your, you know, soldiers, sailors, airmen, marine, and uh, um, now Space Force, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's still hard to believe. It, 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 it rolls over into the civilian sector when you run a business. So that taking care of, like I said, your clients and the people that work for you, uh, which is a little bit old-fashioned uh, nowadays in, in our country. So uh, that, that's what I see from veteran-owned businesses. And so this focus is on veteran-owned businesses. What do you want them to know about your role with the county and some services or opportunities that you mentioned from the state or federal government? So if you are a veteran-owned business, so we, we want you to go to our website and uh, under the community section, you can go 
in there and log in. There's an application you can fill out and send it to us, and we will help you advertise your business as a veteran-owned business. Uh, if we get enough businesses, we'd like to start like a, a Veterans Day promotion for a Veterans Day veteran-owned businesses. I mean, people want to know who the veterans are in their community, not necessarily just to use your services, but people like to know who the vets are so they can, you know, say thank you or understand where you came from and things like that. Uh, the second piece is there for some larger businesses. The veteran-friendly business program that the state and the federal government has um, can help you with different bidding processes through the state and federal government. And those aren't just veteran-owned businesses. Those are, if you have a large, you know, 30 or 40 people that work there, if 50% of your workforce are veterans, then you can fall under that criteria with the state and federal government. So there are some benefits uh, to the businesses to register not only with us, but also with the state and federal government sometimes. So go to our website under the community section. All the information is right there. Excellent. I know this is kind of a kind of a blitzkrieg, quick in, quick out. Uh, but I'd like to thank you, gentlemen, for uh, joining us. Thank you for your military service. Thank you for uh, what you do for the communities on a continued basis. And I wish you nothing but happiness and success. Thanks for your service, Congressman. Who? Thank you. Hoo-ah. Rock. As the COVID nineteen vaccines become available, you may have questions, and that's normal. So, for the latest information, visit getvaccineanswers.org. It's up to you.